Hello, it's me. It's been a while. My name is Lisa, if you forgot. I am busy. <laughs> I'm still working on health. Trying to prioritize health. I am failing at weight loss. I am failing at my 100 pounds in 100 weeks challenge. But that's okay. Because health is not only about being skinny and losing weight. And I have been working on different aspects of health throughout the summer. I've also been realizing it's really hard for me to stick to any sort of habits because of the stage of life I'm at. And the fact that I have four kids and I'm the stay-at-home parent and I have no routine that's good and everybody needs taken care of and my needs get pushed to the side, I guess. And speaking of which, the one thing I did this summer was read a book that was very helpful for my body image, mental health, self-image kind of thing, and it was called Stop Caretaking, The Borderline or Narcissist, How to End the Drama, something. I'll put the book here so you can see it. I found that book very helpful. I have some relationships in my life that I feel like that kind of narcissistic borderline um, advice really works well for. I also found that a lot of the advice for like for stop caretaking a narcissist can be applied to a mother anyways because it is important to remember to take care of yourself and to set boundaries and not always just looking after everybody else. So yes, that was very helpful. I am feeling better about myself, like image and all of that, from reading that book. And it has given me also permission to give myself grace, I think, more. And the stage that I, I'm in right now in my life, I'm giving myself grace as well because I have a lot of young kids. And as Maya gets older, she'll be one in just a couple months now things will get easier and I'm done having pregnancies and all of that so hopefully you know we're moving into a healthier stage of life and I won't be continuing to gain weight all the time and my like family dynamic my household dynamic is not going to be changing all the time so it will be easier that's the thing I realized through the summer of trying to do like 5k it was like, at first, at first I was doing 5K, and then um, very quickly it turned into me taking the kids with me on the 5K, which turned into, you know, more like 2K, and then it turned into, like, a whole, like, the neighbors coming with us, and me just taking kids to the park, and, yeah. It very quickly turned into something that was not about me, and it was about the kids going and having fun at the park. So, now, finally, it is... October and I have established a or I'm establishing a routine to go to the gym and walk around the walking track and do my 5k walking slash you know trying to add running to it at the gym with Maya in the stroller during her nap time when all the other three kids are at school in the afternoon that way you know nobody else can take over my agenda I think that will work. <laughs> so far, I'm on my second week. So, so there's that. I also realized a big thing with my diet, which I like, I have been trying to like work on the 5K, and that's been my goal this year is to be able to run 5K. That was taking me way longer. I'm proud of myself for sticking to the goal. <sighs> what was I say? The diet, yes, I know I could clean up my diet, and I know. That doesn't help. It's just frustrating when you try and the scale doesn't move. And that's another reason why I failed my... I was doing intermittent fasting for like five weeks and then the, I lost like five pounds. And then the weight <laughs> just stopped losing. And then I just get discouraged. So the other big thing right now is... 
even though I am still intending to try to do like a, lose 100 pounds in 100 weeks, I'm putting the scale away for the rest of the year. I can look at it in January, but I think that is one major reason I fail a lot is because I get discouraged because the scale doesn't move. And even if I don't ever lose weight, still learning to move more is good for me. Learning to cut back on food is good for me. So I will try to get back onto my intermittent fasting again. I think that for me is the best plan because I think I need to set up routines more than I need to count calories and all of that because I don't have the time or the the right brain for that. It's just like it seems like too much work and annoying and I would rather just do intermittent fasting because I don't know it just seems simpler. It's simpler, it's less time, less like brain capacity too. I, I need to do things that reduce my mental burden, you know? <sighs> so anyways, yeah, like I said, I haven't been like, I haven't stepped on the scale for a while too, so I don't even know. Maybe I am losing weight. Who knows? I don't think so though, because I never do. <laughs> and I don't feel different in my clothing, so. But like, even though I'm not losing weight or I haven't lost weight, I still feel like I've been working on my mental perspective trying to get healthier in that and how I show up in my relationships and how I look at exercise and how I, you know, looking, look at nutrition and all of that. So, and I think it takes a long time to establish a healthy routine. Anyways, there's that. That's the whole thing that's been happening on that side of things. On another aspect to my life in the last couple months has been my husband has been struggling with health issues, which has been a thing as well, which has pushed us to try to eat better and cut out fast food, especially we have eaten very little fast food, which is good. But anyway, Mike had a like episode one time, I forget when this was, August, late August, he like got really dizzy and nauseous and then he, we ended up calling the ambulance, he threw up, they took him in and he, they realized he had uh, really bad hypertension and they don't exactly know why, but his, like it's, I don't know, over 200... 200 over um, 120 or something like really high numbers on both the top and the bottom number which is like emergency it's not even like um, urgent it's like past urgent to like emergent uh, so he's been getting lots of tests with that he's on blood pressure medication but it has been a little bit scary because yeah, he could, you know, possibly die. It, like he has heart, like blood pressure levels of like dying, you know, of getting a heart attack or something. So that's been the other thing that's kind of been like a crisis, but it is a good reason to push us to really focus on health. And that is the main thing I am realizing is no matter what you got going on in life, you have to figure out how to prioritize exercise and nutrition. Because if you don't, you will die. So that is what I'm doing. And that is the update. I'm just slowly working on it. It's worth working on, I guess. Even if the weight loss never comes, it's still important for the health to have exercise and nutrition in your life so your body functions properly. Uh, yeah, so I am also going to try to focus on, like I say this every time, so b believe me or don't believe me, but you know, getting re more regular with YouTube and hopefully that will get better as, like I said, Maya gets older and my life gets more routine and now that we're in school, maybe I can figure out when to schedule, you know, working on YouTube on a regular basis, but yeah, 
for now, I just wanted to update you. This is what I'm doing. I'm still trying to work on my health. I'm not doing great on my losing weight plan, which is not a surprise for me. But anyways, okay. I hope you guys are doing good.